Hi, today I'm reviewing the Bobbi Brown Crushed Lip Color. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make any purchases. So this is the full-size Bobbi Brown Crush Lip Color, and it sells for $29. And this is a selection of um, some deep red colors, um, and it's kind of more of a balm lipstick. And let me give you a swatch. The color I have is Lilac, which is, I think they describe it as a pink with blue undertones. Um, and this is a nice formula. It wears pretty well. Um, it's got a light wash of color. I think color lip balms are kind of the in thing right now. It seems like every brand has one now. Um, still, still has got one. Becca. Um, they're all coming out with these. But this one is pretty nice. It's a very low maintenance lipstick. You can definitely put it on in the morning and it fades pretty evenly. Um, and it does leave your lips feeling nice and moist and not dry at all. So that's a very good upside to it. But the colors are all very nice colors. They are all um, kind of complement your lip color instead of fight it. Because um, there's some lip colors that are just definitely out there. Um, and these are all kind of similar to what color your lips already are. So she, I think they've got about 10 different colors. Um, so this one is more of a pink color. Um, but that's one swipe. You can see that. And if you give it a couple swipes, it just builds it a little bit. But they're very nice. Um, super low maintenance lipstick. Um, I wouldn't even call it lipstick because it definitely feels more like a lipstick chapstick combination. Um, and this is definitely a nice one. It doesn't have a lot of fragrance in it. I didn't notice any fragrance in it at all. But after looking on the box, um, there's a few at the tail end of it. Linolu and Limoline, which are in so many different products. Um, but I didn't notice those um, at all when I tasted it. There really isn't a taste to it at all. So I really like that. Um, but it definitely is very low maintenance. It lasts on my lips probably about four hours. Um, I definitely, you know, if you're eating or drinking a lot, it's going gonna, it's gonna to transfer a little bit because it's got the texture of a lip balm and not like a matte lipstick. Um, but it definitely fades evenly and looks nice. Um, if you're somebody that likes minimal amounts of makeup, this is definitely a nice option for you. It's a little more expensive, um, but the container is a pretty big, so I can't remember the last time I actually went through an entire lipstick, but uh, this one definitely would last you quite a while if you're using it every day, several times a day. And it also has some nice moisturizing ingredients in it as well, so it's got some good oils in there. Um, definitely a nice option from Bobbi Brown. I think this is part of her permanent collection as well, so it's worth checking out if you like more... Um, neutral colors, mauves, browns, um, some nude, kind of nude colors, but um, definitely nice option. So for me, I'm going to give this two thumbs up, and I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts were, uh, or if you have any other color lip balms or lip tinted lip balms, color balms, um, and if so, what brand do you have and how do you like it? Um, definitely they're more low maintenance than regular lipsticks and a lot easier to apply. So um, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. And also feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. Thank you guys.